Hello and hi everyone, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own DIY photo cards by using only two apps, yes, which are PitsArt and Photobook. So, for today's video, I'll be making 80s photo cards since I just studying them during this quarantine. I've been making my own photo card since last year and I save a lot of money by doing this. So first, what you have to do is save all of your design pictures to your camera roll. I suggest to look for them from Pinterest and also Twitter. Next, what we have to do is open the PitsArt app and choose Grid. And then you have to choose your top 4 pictures that you like to make. And after that, click Next. And then for the grid, what you have to do is swipe to the left until you find this perfect square shape. And then click ratio and choose 3 to 4, which is the second one. And completely remove all the border. For this part, what you can do is, um, you can adjust the pictures to your liking. are done with this so just save the picture to your album once you have saved the picture you can repeat the step all over again with different images for this time I'll be making um, your song for the cards If you have finished everything, I suggest you create a different album. Here comes the best part. So, I always use Photobook app to print all of my pictures. So for this time, I'll be using Photobook app again. And you can find it in App Store. So, just swipe to the left until you see this photo print and don't forget to use the code given and you will see different types of photo prints but I always use the 4R which is a 4 times 6 and it will lead to your album. What you have to do is look at the bottom right and just select all and ta-da! After you are done admiring all of your pictures, you can add a title or leave it blank and you can tap on the top right which is next and it will lead to this page. For me, I always use the Fujifilm um, matte because I like the texture of it but I think most of people will go for gloss paper and here we go. Don't forget to insert the discount code and voila, you're done. So just go for checkout and then yada 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 and select payment method. And there's a lot of um, payment options which you can choose from and that's a great thing. And it leads to your payment site. After one week or less than one week, you will receive this package from for the book. Just in case, if you're wondering what's the difference between the matte paper and also the gloss paper, the matte paper is less shiny and it is not reflective compared to the gloss paper. And this is the best part. So, you can cut the pictures using paper cutter but I don't have it so I just use my scissors. And I enjoy every second of it. And voila, I'm done. So 
If you're wondering what's the point of doing this, I did this just for fun and also I give most of them to my fellow internet friends. And that's all. Thank you for watching.